Hey, how's it going? It's me again. I'm Scott. Thanks for tuning into this video. It's so close to Christmas. Right now it's Thursday the 20 whatever it is before Christmas. I'm not even sure. 22, 23, 22. That's what it is. How you doing? I hope things are cool. Uh, kind of miss you in November. Didn't really have much of a video and I meant to but just got bogged down with life and you know how it is. I have been trying to spend some time at the bench though, so I thought I'd put out a little video and wish everyone a Merry Christmas, so Merry Christmas! Alright, see you later! No, we'll do better than that I guess, eh? I'm going to review uh, a kit from Meng, M-E-N-G, one of their truck kits that I recently acquired. Recently acquired? Also going to take a look at uh, a T-3476 tank that I've been working on a tank and I gotta tell you I'm having a blast with the armor seriously what else we got on the go we got a little bit uh, we hello it's not too much we I'm gonna talk a little bit <laughs> about uh, all the flies that are dead hanging from my ceiling no I might show them to you though cuz they're my friends my dead friends. I don't know where I'm going with this. Uh, the website. I've been working on Scale Model Attic version 4. It's going to be a nice little change. Nice big change. And uh, I hope to have that out early January. We've got a few things to talk about regarding the site and a really cool new product that you might be totally interested in. And what else? That's about it. This is Scale Model Addict. No, 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 no. Right on. Okay, so what do we want to do first? Let's talk about the tank. I have been building this tank. Doop, doop. And it's fun. Real fun. 135. I have been using the AK-4BO Russian Green Color Modulation Set. This is my first real armor build. I did, however, build this earlier in November. You know that um, 135 scale X-Wing thing that I got on the go that I haven't abandoned? I've just been working on painting through together a tank and practice painting. Well, some of you guys know I use the tracks off of a Sherman. This is what was left over from the Sherman. I'm going to weather this and maybe make it look like it's stuck in broken ice or something. I didn't want to throw the kit away. So this was kind of my first kick at armor. I appreciated it and then tried to put on some different levels of olive drab there. Whatever, it was fun. Just practicing airbrushing Vallejo paint. So I did that and that kind of stopped there for now. I built that Russian tank and that's there right now. Lighting is poor, I know. This little guy, the T-34, I've been reading about it. It was like the number one performing tank in World War II. Now you think some of those big Jush Jushin, Russian, no this is Russian, German, that's what I'm trying to say. German and Russian makes Jushin. Some of the big German uh, cat tanks there. This was like number one on the military channel. Best performing. Wild. Anyways, I tried the color mod technique on this, and you've seen Ken Abrams uh, well accomplished with color modulation. Ian from Make Interactive owns it. Uh, Meg Menez has really popularized it. And guys like Adam Wilder and uh, Michael Rinaldi and those guys, they got it figured out. I don't quite have it figured out, and I shouldn't even put the word quite in there. I'm trying, but it's fun. I'm not letting my lack of skill stop me. It's going okay. So I'm going to do a little slideshow. I took some pictures while I was painting this, and uh, if you haven't seen it online, you're about to.
there's where it stands now. That's after four layers of oils. And they started off kind of as subtle filters and the last couple of layers were more like washes, I guess. I forgot the decals. I don't know why. Like, it's not the first time I ever build a model. But I forgot the decals. I'm going to put a couple numbers right there. Despite the advice of some of my friends. Um, yeah. And then I'm going to put a couple more layers and blend it all in. Eventually this is going to get like kind of a whitewash that's almost gone. It's going to be filthy. I'm going to stick it on like a muddy late winter road with just a bit of snow left. And I'm thinking about, I don't have any figures, but there might be something in there that's not a machine. So this has been totally fun. If you've never built an armor kit, I suggest you try it. And forget any preconceived notions you have about the genre. Just give it a shot. I've been building nothing but sci-fi and a couple of airplanes. And this has been a blast. Seriously. A lot of fun. Ho, ho, ho. All right. Let's take a look at a couple of kits. This guy. I recently picked this up. It's 135 scales made by a company called Mang. Hey Mang. Sup Mang. Um, pick up with equipment. This is a Toyota Hilux, more or less, uh, truck. You see them used in the Middle East by the dudes that aren't in the army. So I guess there's been some um, terrorist cells that have used these. And more recently, uh, all the rebellions going on over there and the revolution, I guess is the word, uprisings in Libya and stuff like that. The guys over there are using these for military vehicles. I know you know what I'm talking about. They call them technicals, right? And it's basically a half ton truck, four wheel drive, that they customize, they attach a whole lot of really big guns to and uh, upset dictators and stuff like that. So this is the vehicle of choice if you want to overthrow a dictatorship. Who would have thought? 135 scale and uh, we're going to have a look at it right now. Alright, so the box art is pretty cool. It's actually a nice box too. Like, there's some money in there. This thing cost me uh, like 40 bucks to my door. Canadian. Like I said, it's 135 scale. You get a figure, you get a bunch of stuff. Let's see what you get. There we go. Okay, the contents of the box. Got a bunch of sprues and some other stuff. Okay, it's pretty cool. I've looked through it once already. You might have seen other reviews online. There is the cab. It's molded in red plastic. This piece is, it is. Nice detail. Nice. Pretty tiny. When you use a 124 scale automotive kits, 135 is quite different. All the doors are molded on. They are not opened. Although I be thinking I'm going to try to open one up. That's nice. I like how they put it in its own little box thing. You probably pay more for packaging because of that, but it's cool. Some rubber tires. Let's see what the treads are like. I've read about these online that the treads kind of like not really what they'd be running with. This is more like a Can you see that? It's like not real off-road. They're Dunlop tires. Yep. And it comes with six of them, this specific kit. So you get the four plus two spares, which is kind of neat. That's in there. We'll look at the sprues again in a second. Okay, this comes with um, 
couple of clear sprues. I won't open these up, but these are all water bottles, Pepsi or Coke. Yeah, there's some water bottles. They're tiny. They look pretty good though. And uh, it's nice, there's no real flash or mold lines or nothing. Oh, it's decent. Comes with some black photo etch. These are for the mud flaps. And some other parts, not quite sure what. The decals look okay. There's the pop in the water. Like, I don't know, the Pepsi logo and the Coke logo, that's small. The, uh, the line screen of the printer can only do so much, so that's good. Then it comes with the alphabet in two colors. And uh, I think that's to put Toyota on the back of the truck without dealing with copyright. Pretty smart, eh? You also get a little instrument panel and a 4WD thing. I think they got that wrong. It's supposed to be WD-40, I think, but anyways. The instructions. It's a nice book. Saddle stitched. They're using uh, 160... It's like an 80 pound gloss stock here. <laughs> Not bad. Get a couple of options for what, you know, reference ideas. Uh, you get some paint colors suggested with Hobby Color, Mr. Hobby, and Vallejo. Sweet. Vallejo callouts. Um, yeah. You know, it's what you'd expect from instructions. Pictures of the kit as it gets assembled, telling you which parts to put where. What an idea. So, yeah. Um, what else? Goes like that. There's a roll bar. There's tires. There's running boards. There's a tailgate. There's two pretty sweet machine guns. If you ask me. Yeah. And there's coolers too. Cool. Coolers for the pops. A couple of water cans. Jerry gas cans. Couple different sizes of jerry cans just to mix it up. Duffel bags. Casey's gonna go to a sleepover. And another bag. I think this must be the Santa Claus variant. And that's probably where they haul all the presents. Then they got this dude. He was rejected from the A Team movie. But, uh, you know, he's still trying to kick some butt. So, what can you do? I think he was a back catcher. Pretty sure. I don't know. I can't see them having much time for baseball, but what do I know? And then just some different color options, the coolers and stuff. I suppose you could do it however you want. You can even like paint this dark for cola or if you're doing 7 up, well you need a different label. So there's the truck, all nice and clean. I doubt mine will look anything like that when it's done. Now let's check out the sprues, shall we? This is funny because it's got like uh, gray plastic, black plastic, and red. I don't know, it's different. Everything, I'm not going to take it out of the plastic bags, but you know, it looks really good. It's, it's a modern kit, uh, minimal, like what are those called? The sprue attachment points. You know, they're not like the old kits. It's not loaded full of uh, injector pin markings at all. Which is totally awesome. Like that hood, for example. Okay, no injector pin markings on either side. It's, uh, it's what you'd expect from a kit nowadays. The window, I've read about this online and it's true. It's all one piece, right? So, if you want to uh, open up a window, you're going to have to cut this, but the, uh, what's it called, the top of the roof of a car there, you switch the lights on and stuff, I forget what that's called. That's molded in there, and so are the sun visors and stuff. So if you want to open up a window, it's going to be a bit of surgery, and you only got the one piece, and it's probably brittle, and 
You got separate uh, stuff for tail lights, headlights, signal lights, back window. Again, like you can't open up the back window unless you perform some surgery, but people could do it. This is like all the extra stuff. Coolers. They're all nice. Like, this is a good kit. There's no question about it. Jerry cans. The guns are pretty sharp. Can you see those there? Little tiny detail in the muzzles and the... I forget what the end piece of the barrel's called, but... It's not a silencer, but like that area's got little tiny... Not holes, but dimples in it. The scope is mounted and like there's no flash under the scopes. On this dude here, am I getting that in frame? It's a nice gun, looks pretty cool. The handles and stuff are separate. Even like, check this out, like for the jerry cans, it's not molded on the, um, the caps and stuff. They're separate. Pretty sweet. Here's the rest of the inside. There's the dash of the truck. It's kind of nice, eh? Pedals hanging down, clutch, and steering wheel, even the steering column, right? It's got like those things that people use to indicate the direction they're going. Stuff like that. The inside of the doors are simplistic. Others have said that in reviews too, but as far as I'm concerned, they look great like I think it'll be a trick to try to open up a door you're gonna have to somehow cut this attach it to the open door quite a trick indeed the seats look comfortable then this is like all the under chassis suspension the motor is kinda not like a typical car kit it's uh, it's kind of already molded into the the frame right so the suspensions there and the whatever the belly I don't know cars but all the differentials and stuff spring leaf but like there's enough stuff that's separate that it's gonna look cool it's not gonna look like a toy you got rims kinda typical rims sorry if there's a glare I just hate to open it up and scratch everything separate windshield wipers which is cool. I'm sure in the desert there'd be dust and they'd be using their wipers for that, right? So you could have the wipers like as if they shut off the car halfway or I don't know and do the whole mask off the window and spray a bit of thin paint to show the dust on the windshield trick. Bumpers are nice. The grills are a little tiny touch of flash there but nothing worth mentioning although I did mention it. Uh, roll bar that's cool too and the figure now in my opinion the figure is kind of a stinker whoops get the dude's face Rawr. and then his chest ball cap his arms be cool to have tattoo decals eh? something I don't know maybe I love you mom or I don't know then you got each leg and you got What's this? Well, that's the back sack thing. It's hollow. I guess it goes on the ground. And then that little bag. Put a big dollar bill on there. Rah! So yeah, it's kind of, uh, well, it's not terrible. What do I know, right? I've never painted a figure. <laughs> so that's that. <clears throat> I would say for 40 bucks, it is awesome. Why? Because it's kind of uh, the only of its kind. You can get resin trucks like this from other companies for like 60, 70, 80 bucks. Crazy, crazy amount of money. This is 40 shipped to me and you get all kinds of cool gear. You get a cool truck that you can customize and you get a figure of a dude standing there. So, yeah, two thumbs up. Wait, there's more. I also picked up this kit from Masterbox. This is the Iraq 2 kit and it contains uh, how many figures? Contains 
one, two, three, four figures, I guess. Four figures of either the bad guys or of the freedom fighters. Depends on what point of view you have. Let's take a look. This kit, of course, is 135 scale. It is styrene. And it cost me, I think it was 15 bucks to my door. All right, this we're going to open it up. So you can see. Excuse me a moment. Okay, we got some AK-47s and we got a lot of AK-47s. There's how they look. Not too bad, I guess. Not too bad. There's some of the figure kits. I'll just kind of slide across it and you can see. As far as the torsos, legs and stuff, I guess they're okay. Like, they're not $20 resin kits, but they're alright. The thing about these, you can see the dude's face, or can you? It's kind of like they give them these masks or bandanas, and they don't have a whole lot of face behind them. There's like a couple of little indents for eyes. This dude that's wearing like a ski mask looks more like a scarecrow, to be honest with you. Right? <laughs> like, I don't know. He's a hoodlum. And this guy too, it's kind of lacking, kind of lacking in facial detail. Big ugly mold seam right across the top of his head. A couple more guns and then this is not an AK-47 but, whoops, something else. So yeah, that's that. I don't think I'd give this two thumbs up. This is probably like one thumb up. But what you going to do when they come for you? Uh, it's kind of a unique thing to get. And I think it'll still look great with the truck. Uh, yeah. So that's the review. Hey everybody. Model Man Tom from ModelersBrand.com And I'm here to wish the scale model addict himself, Scott Gervan, a happy third anniversary here on YouTube. It's been a long road. Congratulations on all your successes, Scott. See ya. Okay, what are we going to do next? Let's talk about the future. Not that future. Although that future is awesome. Let's talk about Scale Model Attic version 4. If you've spent any time on SMA, you know that I've been ranting about this for a while now. I've been wanting to get the forum and the rest of the site all under one roof, so to say, so that uh, you can go to the photo galleries and make it easier to submit stuff to the gallery so that stuff happening on the forum ends up on the home page automatically so that you can comment on articles, you can comment on photo gallery entries and a whole bunch of new bells and whistles for the forum. Well, for the last couple of... well, it's been about a week now, I guess. I, it took me forever to make a decision on what software to go with. I was thinking, do I switch over to WordPress, or do I stay with this, or do I blah 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 blah. Anyways, after a whole lot of debate, it comes down to this. Scale Model Addict is about the forum, it's about the community. We're averaging probably 140 people a day that visit Scale Model Addict. And uh, that's really cool, because not too long ago it was like an average of 80 people a day. So it's definitely growing, and we started off being pretty much all about sci-fi, I guess, as far as posting goes. And now there's starting to be a good balance of like science fiction, automotive, um, you know, armor, aircraft. There's really kind of a good mix, and it's growing all the time. There's probably two, three people that register every day. And it's not 20, but, you know, slow and steady is good, in my opinion. It's kind of consistently that. And the people that are joining are participating, so it's not just... Anyways. I'm redesigning the site. It's going to... Well, as far as everything outside the forum, it's all going to be gone. Bye-bye. And uh, the new site is basically going to be the forum with a home page that spits out everything that's happening on the forum. Plus, we're going to have articles built into it and photo galleries and working on a system for the contest to vote 
and some other stuff too. So there's going to be some a lot of cool new features. Yeah. So with that said, some of this costs a bit of money. And I was thinking, how can I not do it all out of my pocket? And how can I not charge people? Honestly, that's what I've been thinking. And a couple of months ago, I had a idea. And the idea was to produce a calendar featuring the winners of the contest. So I produced a calendar with the winners of the contest. This is a 14 month calendar and the first and second place from each category win, not including the all open, because I couldn't put like 26 months in here. Well, yeah, if you include whatever. I had to draw the line somewhere. So this is something I designed over the last couple of months. It's taken forever and uh, you can buy one. So it starts de December, <laughs> which is like now. And it goes to January 2013. That's why, 14. Seven categories, top one and two. So it includes some nice pictures of the builds, includes a little plug for all the sponsors that helped us out. Uh, it includes a write-up on the entry and then I went and found like some facts and some quirky stuff related to the actual kit or the vehicle and uh, yeah I've also included when the contest starts next year when it ends when the group build happens and stuff like that so yeah you're gonna want one of these on your wall aren't you I know you are so the question burning in your heart must be, by this point, how do I get one? Todd, you're the centerfold, dude. Best of show. And it goes on and on. I gotta finish the back, but I'm almost done. How do you get one? There are 20 bucks shipping included. Okay? 20 bucks shipping included. And uh, you can order them now at scalemodeladdict.com. I'll put links in all kinds of spots so you won't miss it. So you're going to want to get one of these and the proceeds from this are going to help me pay for some software I need to upgrade the site. There's some of the plugins and stuff that are commercial and they're not free. So I'm hoping I can sell enough of those to cover the costs of that. And then it's all good. And we start the new year with a smoking, rocking new SMA and uh, yeah, and you guys get really cool calendars. It's cool, man. Seriously. Scale Model Addict Calendar. Get yours today at scalemodeladdict.com. Right on. Well, that's about it. That's what I had planned for this video, and looks like I got her done. I'm going to stop right now, but before I do, Merry Christmas. Merry, Merry Christmas. It's a great time of year and it's a time to stop and remember the birth of Christ and remember that he's not a baby anymore, he's all grown up. It's a great time to be with your loved ones and uh, if you drink, don't drive, don't do anything stupid like that. It's the worst time of year, right? And just be, be that extra careful, right, if you're out having fun or whatever. Um, 2011 has been an awesome year. For scale model addict the contest grew big time and uh, the membership on the forum is growing big time and we have a lot of cool stuff planned for 2012 the contest is right around the corner right in april and it's gonna rock let me tell you what the group builds going on right now we're going strong and uh, i'm still juggling 15 or 35 projects like usual so what else is new i want to thank you very much for participating Merry Christmas, God bless you, all the best for this holiday season, and uh, 2012 is going to be a great year. Oh yeah. <laughs> you see that twinkle in my eye? That's how I know. It's going to rock. Later.
I just want to take a minute to and thank all the guys that have helped me out if I can get this off the tip of my tongue in one take. Thanks Ken, ECH, Chung, thank you Panzerace, 007. <laughs> thank you AKE and thank you Grendels and thank you Choir Lane. Yeah, I got everybody. Woohoo!